is it destiny that uh, that our blood vessels are going to get damaged over time? Or are there ways that we can slow that process down or perhaps even reverse that process? The answer is, and this is what's quite striking, it's possible to take somebody who has existing established blockages in their blood vessels who would otherwise be requiring a stent, the plumber, call the plumber, put the equipment in, or requiring drugs like the statins, all right, that if you actually give them an intensive regimen of lifestyle change, starting with their diet, you cut down the you cut down or cut out the saturated meats, no red meat, remove that, okay, and you really switch the you upend their dietary equation by putting them on high fiber foods, uh, uh, fruits and vegetables with high fiber. What does that do? Oh, it feeds your gut microbiome. Now your gut bacteria are happier. They restore their community, their ecosystem. Now they're working in your favor, all right? This lifestyle change. Now you can eat foods, more foods, fruits and vegetables, nuts and legumes, seeds, that actually then renew, regenerate the damaged lining. So, you know, just like our skin renews itself and our hair, for most people, renews itself, right? Which is why we need a haircut and uh, the skin sheds, which is why people have dandruff. All right. Um, uh, there's a renewal of the blood vessels. If you eat foods, uh, like lots of foods that actually have healthy bioactives, natural chemicals that can stimulate regeneration. So an example would be anthocyanins that are present in dark chocolate or that are present in blueberries. They will actually, or uh, eggplant, they will actually help to renew, replace those old damaged liner cells in your blood vessels. Now you're actually regenerating damaged tissue. So what's quite fascinating, with intensive lifestyle change, starting with diet, replace unhealthy fats with healthier fats. Omega-3s okay, are better than butter and palm oil and lots of other less, health, less than healthy fats. Um, cut down the amount of oil. Um, Omega-3s are a very healthy form of fats. You can get them from nuts and seeds. You can also get them from seafood, which is uh, known to be heart healthy. You're actually protecting the liner. You're, you're starting to dissolve by, by replacing, regenerating the liner, okay? You're actually also dissolving some of the plaques that have accumulated. So it's sort of like mother nature's toothbrush using the natural substances that are present um, uh, in your foods, and you can replace and reverse heart disease. Food, diet, by the way, is only part of the equation. There's other things like regular physical activity that's helpful. Why does that? It gets the blood, the, your juices flowing, literally. It gets your blood flowing. That's important for reversing heart disease. Um, stress, lowering stress, and sleep. And Will, is there, because, I mean, this this sounds great. It's very much in line, interestingly, with the advice for things that have got nothing to do with blood vessels. So it's always interesting how much uh, alignment there is at, at the maximum level. Are there are there real clini clinical trials and studies that support uh, this? Because I think some people will be listening and saying, you know, well, reversing, you know, heart damage, that sounds a bit radical. You know, I know that Will's a doctor, but, you know, are you, you, know, are you way out on a ledge? Is there is there the data to support what you're saying? Yeah, well, first of all, I, what I... I was a skeptic on this for many years, okay? Uh, look, I, I'm part of a, a, a cadre of life scientists that actually I've been involved with biotech drug development. So for me, my, my, my wheelhouse actually has been to develop the latest new drugs. And actually, I've been involved with developing stem cell therapies and gene therapies for heart disease. So I'm not a kale waver, okay? I'm not somebody that, that, that sort of stepped away from the fold. For those of you who are on video, you'll see that Will doesn't look like a kale waver either. But if you're just on audio, you know, it's harder to harder to tell. But Yeah, so uh, so I believe in, in, in medicines. I believe in advancing medicines. But I And I was a skeptic. I'm like, how can lifestyle do it? But I have to say, from the very beginning, we know that after you have a heart attack, that if you go for what they call cardiac rehabilitation, cardiac rehab, that's what every patient leaving the hospital uh, undergoes to recover from a heart attack. Um, it's a manner of actually diet and lifestyle and reduction. And if you really take it to a pure clinical study that have actually compared interventions to lifestyle management, um, uh, I would cite the work of Dr. Dean Ornish, who is a professor 
from at, at University of California, San Francisco. He's at the Preventative um, uh, Medical Research Institute. Um, he's actually done a career worth, you know, probably 40 or 50 years worth of research looking at the reversal of heart disease um, uh, that, it, that does not require the hardware and pharmaceuticals. And, it, you know, it, again, it's not a magic, it's not a silver bullet. It is not a one-step deal. It's a pretty big commitment to change for somebody who's lived their life to actually suddenly be, quote, scared straight. And that because you've had a heart attack or you've had a, a, a big warning sign, um, and now you need to actually change your diet and learn, f find new ways to eat that bring you joy, um, and then to learn how to lower stress. I mean, how many of us live in a continuous state of stress, especially if you're building a career? I, I'm running a startup, doing this podcast, have children. I'm I'm 100% in a permanent state of stress. Well, <laughs> and I can tell you, training in medicine. I mean, just being a doctor, going through the training is high stress all the time. That's not good for us. And so, one of the reasons why people that work at a high level of stress, probably like you and me, that's why we enjoy vacation so much, is that when we take a break our body truly thanks us for it. Our minds also do as well. Our gut bacteria also thanks us for it because we tend to be more active and probably eat slightly healthier things and take it easy on ourselves. And so I think this idea of self-renewal is very important for not only preventing disease, but reversing disease. And that's why I'm trying to emphasize it is definitely possible to reverse heart disease. It's not, you know, just pop a pill in your mouth and swallow it, chase it down with a drink of water, it's a commitment to a better lifestyle, a healthier lifestyle. And I think you're not saying no one, I don't think you're saying to people that everyone should stop taking their statins who has currently got them from doctors. I think, you know, I think, I, I don't believe you're saying that. Is that right, Will? You're saying that there is ultimately this enormous impact that you can have through your diet and your lifestyle, which, you know, there's real scientific data to support. Am I, is that fair? Am I putting words in your mouth? No, no, you are absolutely correct. And, and as I said, you know, I'm a I'm a medical doctor trained in that hardcore, you know, um, uh, using all the tools in our toolbox. And as I said, I'm actually involved with developing the next generation of treatments for heart disease and stroke and many other con cancer, and many other conditions. So I'm a big believer in using the best tools. But what I said at the very beginning, my own philosophy is that if you put somebody on a medicine, the goal should always be as a doctor to figure out how to get them off the medicine. And if all you do is to renew the prescription over and over and you just tell the patient, just take it, it's, that's what you need to do. We're not doing enough. And I think what patients and people need to realize is that if you actually have cardiovascular disease, there's a tour of health care that you can do for yourself. It doesn't rely on a doctor. There's no anesthesia required. It doesn't require um, a pharmaceutical. It requires something that you do at home. 